Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was Convention 138 and Convention 182 of International Labour Organization is related to what? And guys, the answer is Convention number 138 is on minimum age and Convention number 182 is on worst forms of child labour. So that is the right answer. We will now start today's session. First question for the day with reference to Financial Stability and Development Council FSDC consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is a statutory body. Statement 2. It replaced the high level coordination committee on financial markets. And statement 3. The council is chaired by Governor of Reserve Bank of India. Which of the above statements is our correct? Option A 1 only. Option B 1 and 2 only. Option C 2 only and option D 1 and 3 only. Which the correct answer here is it is option C 2 only. The Financial Stability and Development Council is a non statutory apex council under Ministry of Finance constituted by an executive order in 2010 and it was first proposed by the Guram Dajan Committee on 2008 and it is chaired by Finance Minister not by Governor of Reserve Bank of India and its members include the heads of all financial sector regulators RBI, SEBI, PFRDA and IRDA and also finance secretary is there, secretary of department of economic affairs, secretary of department of financial services and the chief economic advisor is also there in this council and in 2018 government reconstituted FSDC to include Minister of State responsible for Department of Economic Affairs and the Secretary of Department of Electronics and Information Technology and Chairperson of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India and the Revenue Secretary. So these all persons included in the council and the council can invite experts to the meeting if required. And the objective of FSDC is to strengthen and institutionalize the mechanism for maintaining financial stability, enhancing interregulatory coordination and promoting financial sector development. It also intends to monitor macro prudential supervision of economy. It will assess the functioning of large financial companies. And uh, recently, the 22nd meeting of FSDC chaired by Finance Minister was held through a video conference that was in news that's why this question is asked moving to the second question second question is bug bounty program recently initiated by the government is related to option a hackathon option b covid 19 lockdown option c arugya sedu app option d chandrayaan 2 mission is the correct answer here is it is related to option c arugya sedu app it is a unique reward program in order to find any security flaw in the app. The goal is to partner with security researchers and Indian developer community to test the security effectiveness of Ayurgi Sedu and also to improve or strengthen its security and build users trust. The app has been designed with the principle of privacy by design that is user privacy has been kept in mind in all features of the app and through this program government likes to learn of any potential risk as soon as possible and allowing swift action to fix the vulnerabilities and thereby enhance security of the app so that is bug bounty program moving to the last question for the day last question is which among the following schedule of indian constitution deals with administration and control of scheduled areas as well as of scheduled tribes Option A, 3rd Schedule, Option B, 5th Schedule, Option C, 7th Schedule and Option D, 9th Schedule. Guys, the correct answer here is, it is Option B, 5th Schedule. The 5th Schedule deals with the provisions relating to administration and control of scheduled areas and scheduled tribes. It empowers the President to increase area of any scheduled area in a state after consultation with the governor of that state and president can cancel any order made for designation of an area in any state to be a scheduled area or make 
fresh order redefining the area which is to be scheduled area in consultation with governor of the state concerned and governor may by public notification direct that any particular act of parliament or of the legislature of state shall not apply to a scheduled area that is the powers of powers are delegated to president and governor in fifth schedule and the sixth schedule we have sixth schedule it consists of provisions for the administration of tribal areas in assam meghalaya tripura and mizoram it was passed by the constituent assembly in 1949 and it seeks to safeguard the rights of tribal population through the formation of autonomous district council so adcs are in the sixth schedule and adcs are bodies representing a district to which the constitution has given varying degrees of autonomy within the state legislator and governors of these states are empowered to reorganize boundaries of the tribal areas in simpler terms she or he can choose to include or exclude any area increase or decrease the boundaries and unite two or more autonomous districts into one so these powers are vested with governor of the state and they can also alter or change the names of autonomous regions without a separate legislation so that is the powers vested to governor under sixth schedule and guys it's time for quiz question we talked about fifth schedule and sixth schedule and the question is the administration of scheduled areas and tribal areas is mentioned or according to which article of indian constitution which article of indian constitution mentions about the administration of scheduled areas and tribal areas please post your answer in the comment section that's all for today guys we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions please post your scores also in the comment section thank you for watching